Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through kernel module. I hope in the last tutorial, we have just gone through basic introduction to kernel, right? In components of system. Here we used to have Linux kernel. So basically, in any operating system, Linux is the, sorry, in any operating system, kernel is the most important part, guys. Basically, kernel is the place where we store the most important function calls and everything. Fine? So that's the reason why we call uh, kernel as the heart of a operating system. So Linux kernel loads and unloads the modules of kernel code only on demand. Whenever a particular code is required, it loads it into the kernel and once it is done, it deloads it into the back into its original place. That is nothing but its memory. Fine? So these will be executed in the privilege mode. According to the mode of users, they will be privileged. They will be executed that provides unlimited access to all resources. It provides a good access to all resources. That's just to return the whole, this chapter from PPT. So that's the reason why the sentences may not be so relevant or easy to understand. That's the main issue, fine? Okay, so basically now let us go through component modules of kernel. So we are having three modules guys in total. So we will be having a module manager individually. So it supports loading of mod modules into memory and letting them talk to the rest of the kernel. So it allows the communication with kernel. It is also having two sessions guys. One is management session. Another session is handling symbols. Here it will be managing the whenever the process came like that. It will be managing each and everything and handling symbols. When there are special symbols, it's going to handle here. That module refers. Okay. Only if a module is in use only then it is loaded so if there is a module which came into use and it is uh, pushed into the kernel and unfortunately some other process is using some other thing so then this will be automatically unloaded from the kernel guys so that here the efficient usage of kernel will be done by module manager so if you if so, so let us go to the next topic that is driver registration so di driver registration is nothing but like for our bike we will be doing registrations right so in that way each and every driver like our devices our network devices our file system and everything need to be registered with the kernel so allows modules to tell rest of the kernel that a new device yes whenever we connect a new device on windows you'll be getting at the right most a new device is connected usb type this that will be coming right and few even install their drivers installation will be done right so that is nothing but because of this driver registration the kernel maintains dynamic tables of the known drivers so the first time when you keep a pen drive, you will be getting the installation. But when you keep the second time, it will automatically open within seconds. That is because it is already stored dynamic in tables in kernel. So tables, the table columns will be having as a device driver file system. It's a file system. What are the location of that application files and network protocols and binary format. So these are the few components of those tables, right? Okay. So the third type is conflict resolution. Conflict resolution is nothing but when one kernel is accessing any hardware or shared resource. Then we should make sure that no other kernel makes use of the same hardware. So if you are using the printer, so the kernel should take care that no another kernel should access the same printer. So, so that we can decrement the conflict. Conflict is nothing but fighting for a single thing. Here two kernels are fighting for a single printer or anything. So I hope everyone got a small idea on kernel. So in the next tutorial, we'll be going to start the process management. Thank you. Thanks for watching.